There's word that characters are going to die that didn't necessarily die in the book this season. How does that work? Do you have to approve that? How do, how do those decisions get made? I, I don't have to approve that. You know, I, I sold the rights to HBO. I consult on this. I give my opinions, but I don't have any right of veto or approval. This is nothing new. I mean, characters dying who are still alive in the, in the books has been happening since the first season. I mean, you know, Mago, the Dothraki who Khal Drogo rips out his throat in season one. Last season, Pip and Gren, both still alive and well in the books, both dead in the, in the TV series. Writing books, I, I literally have a cast of thousands. So I can describe an attack on the wall and I can kill like 12 named characters. They may be minor characters, but they have names and they've had a little bit of personality. We don't have that many named characters in the, in the Night's Watch and a TV show. We can't afford to cast that many. So they'll kill Pip and Gran and get an emotional response because the viewer knows who they are. The same way I might kill, you know, Brown Burner or something, but Brown Burner doesn't exist in the show. I might kill uh, Donald Noy, who's the guy who dies in the tunnel in the books the one-armed blacksmith fighting Mag the Mighty. Well, it's Gren in the TV show because Donald Noy never made it to the, to the TV show. So these are the kind of adjustments you have to make in moving from one medium to another.